Thank you for sticking up for me with Barbara. Well, she was beating up on you for something that was not your fault. True. And if anyone else gives me grief about these decorations... Point them in my direction, all right? I will take the heat. So chivalrous. Oh, my Hughes comes naturally to me. <laughs> mm. Yes, I guess it yeah. does. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe my parents have been married for 25 years. Well, they are very lucky to have each other, and they work very hard on their marriage. Yeah, they have the kind of marriage that most people only dream about. So few actually have. Unless you're very, very lucky. I have to run an errand. Now? Where are you going? Uh, Margo ordered some food from Al's. I promised her I'd pick it up. All right, I'll, I'll help you. No, no, stay here. Make sure everything's ready. I can handle it. Did I say something no, wrong? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. She'll probably stop off somewhere and meddle in someone else's life. Do you have a problem, Katie? Me? Oh, heavens no. Well, I'll check out the decorations. Oh, yeah. you like them? I just spoke to Katie outside. She told me that you're responsible. Okay, saying they pass inspection. They do? Okay, great. Must be a brother thing. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Henry? You okay? Who are you talking to? Can you get Katie's catering order, Mandy? It's under the name Hughes. Sure thing. Thanks. 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 So what was that about? What? Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, oh, um... I was reminding myself not to drink hot coffee too fast, otherwise I'd burn my tongue. You sure you weren't seeing Brad again? Word of honor. Okay. Is that why you're so glum? Are you, are you thinking about Brad? Yeah. It's just this anniversary stuff. Mm. You know, I mean, I'm happy for Bob and Kim, but I can't stop thinking about Brad and how we barely had one anniversary. You packed in a lot of happiness in the short time that you had. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's pack in some more happiness then. What'd you have in mind? Why don't you come to this party? Be my date. A Hughes anniversary party? No, 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 thank you. I don't want to horn in on some family affair. It's not all family. Oh, really? Uh, who's going to be there? Um, well, Tom, no. Margo, no. Chris, no. Nancy, no. Um, Barbara, no. Reed. Yes, yes. Yes? Yes. You've, you've convinced me. I'll go with you. You will? It's the least I can do. What? Chris. Hey. Oh. Katie, I was actually just going to swing by Al's help you out with the food. Oh. Where is it? I was just going to pull my car around and have Henry help me. Oh, so you... Got it all covered? What was that about with Casey? He seemed upset. I just suggested that he bring Allison to the party, but I uh, guess he's not up for it. <laughs> you want Allison there? Why? For the same reason I invited Susan. So this family can put this feud behind us, that's all. That's really? All. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, you know what? Could you could you get the food and bring it over? Oh. Um, Okay, I will. Um, wait a minute. Um, where are you going? Oh, I just have something to take care of. I'll see you at Tom and Marcos. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. I was hoping you'd be here. What do you need? I think you should come to Bob and Kim's party. Obviously, you have not been talking to Casey. <laughs> Actually, I think it would be good for Casey for you to come. After what I did to him? Katie, I broke his heart. But you're not going to make it any better by keeping your distance. You need to keep showing up and proving to him that you two can make it through this and at least be friends. Don't you want that? Yeah, I would love that. But I don't think getting in his face is the right way. Maybe not. But I think this party would be a good chance to make peace. Everyone's going to be sentimental and happy. Come on, you can come as my guest. At least tell me what Okay, I'll think about it. Great. I'll see you there. Hey! Are Bob and Kim here yet? Oh, no. Not quite yet. I didn't know you were gonna be here. Well, let's get inside. I'm right behind you. I'm glad to see you. 
Where's Vienna? Not here. Good. Henry, hmm. you coming? Yes, yes. I'm helping Barbara with her bag. Uh, where does this go? Here, here, over here, please. There, there. Go. Oh, great. Oh, thank you. Got it? Yeah. Oh, I think I see my dad's car. Oh, oh. Hey, okay, everybody get ready. Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh, surprise. Oh, yeah, not yet, not yet. Surprise! <laughs> Where's mom? That's a good question. I thought you two were having a good time. Everybody <laughs> just stop. Kim is okay. She just decided not to come with me. Why? Well, it seems that Dr. Oliver was a bit too convincing. What did you do? Exactly what you asked me to do. And that's the truth. Look, the last thing I expected when I walked in here was a party. I I'm sorry that I ruined it. All right, so she thought it was an actual meeting, huh? Well, exactly. Please, just call her. Tell her everything's okay. Come on over. Well, it's not going to be that easy. You see, she's very angry with me. We had a bit of a disagreement. About what? Mom, none of your business. Oh, says who? All right, well, so we should just call her. No, I tried when she stormed out of the lake view, but she turned her phone off. I'm going to go find her. You think she went home? I doubt that. Well, she has a key to my suite. Maybe she's there. Why don't I drive you over there? Barbara can take care of it herself. <laughs> I will find her. I'll get her back here. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. What? Sure. One second. What are you doing here? Uh, Katie invited me. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, I guess. Um, I'm sorry that I'm late. I didn't want to show up empty handed. You didn't have to do that. Did I miss the big entrance? Actually, no. Uh, Kim never showed up. Why not? What happened? Nobody knows. Anyway, I, I, I don't think there's going to even be a party. Oh. Um. Then I guess I should just go. That's what you want? Okay. It's, it's probably what's best. Was that Allison? What happened? She decided not to stay. Um, Katie said that you were gonna order some food from Al's. When do we eat that? You don't. I invited Allison because I knew Chris wanted her here even though he was pretending it was for Casey. I guess Casey's just still so mad at her, though, that he scared her away. Yeah, it was really nice of you to do that. Uh, when, when do you think Barbara's gonna get back? Barbara? Who cares? You mean Kim, right? Yes, I mean, I mean Kim. Kim, do you think she's gonna show? I wish I knew. Kim believes that the object of my affection is my work in the hospital. She's jealous. Well, I remember feeling that way some years ago. What did you do about it? <laughs> I left it, honey. <laughs> Mom, no one's leaving anyone this time. Hey! Oh! Happy anniversary, my dear. Wait a minute, mom and dad aren't married? We've been together for 25 years. How can we not be married? Just, just, we'll explain everything. Just listen. It all started when Margo and I tried to seek out the minister that married dad and Kim 25 years ago. That's a lovely idea. Right, well, we thought they might want to renew their vows. Didn't they renew their vows before? Oh, honey, you can never get married enough. You should know. Oh, hush. Marvel, please tell us what happened. Uh, well, we, we found the minister, and but unfortunately, he's in jail. And, and what charge? Uh, that's where it all gets a little dicey. It's fraud. Um, uh, he's a con artist who rips people off by pretending he's a man of the cloth. You mean he's never been ordained, and he can't legally perform marriages? I'm afraid not, Dad. Well, hey, wait a minute. What does that make me? I always knew you were a bastard. I just didn't know it was official. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's not funny. All right, well, listen, um, thank you all for the, the food and the memorable afternoon. Sorry it didn't work out as planned. <laughs> Kimmy, you OK? <laughs> God, yes, I'm fine. Well, do we know how to bring a party to a halt or what? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go run this guy through the system and see if all the information we have is correct. Excuse mm -hmm. me. I mean, Tom, um, in any case, they are married by common law. Not in Illinois. 